Welcome to Year Two's Christmas concert. We're sorry we can't have a concert with you in attendance this year, but the children have still work very hard and they're going to tell the Christmas story through songs and some readings. Hope you really enjoy it. And if I don't see you before, have a very Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome to our Christmas concert. We know that for many people, Christmas will be very different this year because you might not be able to spend time with your families like you're used to. Even though we haven't been able to invite you all here to watch our concerts in person, we hope you enjoyed a special virtual Christmas performance. Today we <coughs> want to share with you the story of Christmas and to sing you some of our favourite Christmas carols. We will also be sharing our own experience of Christmas and what we do during the holiday. We've thought about what Christmas means to us and what some of our favourite parts are. We wrote about Christmas during Glitzy Reddit lessons ready to share with you today. I like Christmas because I get to open presents and eat Christmas puddings. I also watch movies, eat yummy turkey and make paper snowflakes. I also like to have snowball fights, stargaze and make snow angels. I make decorations with mum and dad and I hang them up. I love Christmas because I get to open presents and play with my sister. We put up a Christmas tree and we decorate it with tinsel and my favourite rainbow baubles.
the town of Nazareth in Galilee lived a girl called Mary. She lived with her family in a small house on the edge of the town. Mary was engaged to be married to a man called Joseph. He was a good man who worked as a carpenter in Nazareth. figure suddenly appeared before her. Mary was alarmed. This was the angel Gabriel who had come to deliver a special message from God. Don't be afraid, Mary. God has chosen you to be the mother of a baby. You shall call them Jesus and he will be a very special king. Mary hurried to tell Joseph the news. He was troubled and wondered if he should still marry her. But that night, a dream, the, in a dream, the angel told Joseph to go ahead with the marriage. All would be well. Soon after Mary and Joseph were married, the emperor gave an order. Everyone had to go to the town where they were born to be counted. Joseph had been born in Bethlehem, far away, so Mary and Joseph packed off their belongings and set off on the journey. somewhere to stay but every inn was full finally a kind innkeeper took pity on them he had no spare rooms but he did have a stable Mary was worried she knew that her baby could be born at any time now Mary peered inside the stable. It looked warm and clear. The couple were happy to find a place to rest at last.
is because I visited Father Christmas. He gave my brother and me a toy husky dog. To say thank you, I am going to make him a delicious cookie and decorate it, it, it with sweets. At Christmas time, I always leave carrots for the rainers. We, we spring a magic dust in the garden so the rainers can fly.
watching over their sheep. Suddenly a brilliant shining light filled the sky and an angel appeared before the fearful shepherds. I bring you tidings of great joy. This day a baby has been born in Bethlehem. You will find him lying in a manger. As the shepherds looked up, a slot niche to the sky became ablaze with light. Angels appeared shining brighter than the brightest stars, singing and praising God. Then just as suddenly the angels were gone, the shepherds were very excited and decided to go to Bethlehem at once to see the baby and worship him. Shepherds hurried to Bethlehem as fast as they could, taking a tiny lamb with them as a gift. There in the stable they found Mary, Joseph and the baby Jesus. The shepherds knelt quietly by the manger, careful not to wake the sleeping baby. They gave the lamb to Mary as a gift for the baby Jesus, then returned to their sheep in the hills. On the way back, they told everyone they met about the amazing things they have seen and heard.
water bottle. I decorate the plane tree and I go to sleep. On Christmas Day, I run downstairs and I check if Santa came. I open my presents and I wake my mum and dad up. And I get changed very quickly. Then I go outside and play snowball fights with my dad. When, then we go inside, watch TV and drink tasty hot chocolate. I love Christmas, especially when I give chocolate cookies to Santa. They are super tasty and sometimes I pinch them on Christmas Eve without they know. I made sure that no flip for Santa because he deserves them. demanded they return to him once they found the baby. Herod pretended that he wanted to worship the new king, but he really wanted to kill him. Finally, it came to rest over 
the place where Jesus lay. They had found the king at last. The wise men went into the stable carrying gifts for Jesus. They brought caskets of precious gold, sweet smelling frankincense, and healing mirth. The wise men bowed down and worshipped the baby. Later that night, each was warned in a dream not to return to King Herod, so they went back to their country by a different route. Sometimes we make a snowman and have a snowball fight.
soon after Joseph was warned in a dream of King Herod's wicked plan to kill Jesus, an angel told him to escape to Egypt with his family. Joseph was warned, woke Mary quietly. They gathered up their belongings and crept away through the narrow streets of Bethlehem. Their journey took many days, but finally they reached Egypt safely. Here they stayed until an angel brought good news. King Herod had died and they were no longer in danger. Now it is safe for them to return home. Each year we celebrate the birth of baby Jesus. We call this special time Christmas.
fantastic job with what they've had and been able to do. They've done some dancing and some singing. And we're so very proud of them. So well done. Let's give yourselves a big round of applause.